Okay, welcome back guys to Value Ada's channel. I am stranded guys. I have no vehicle to move anywhere. Um guys, I have really practically nothing for you. But I guess it is sometimes you take trips and you know it gets a little complicated. But I got a tan, look at <laughs> oh, I got a tan. Um, you tan here just by sitting outside, guys. I, especially me. I don't know. Everybody here in Florida is white. Okay? White, white skin. They don't tan. But you know why? Because they get in their cars. They're in the air conditioner. Come on. Come on. Hey. I'm walking the dog. Okay. Now you know where, where to walk. So stop talking to food. She's a good puppy. Excuse my, my turning around and whatnot, but I gotta stay tuned for this one here. <laughs> okay, guys, so people uh, go out and they're under the AC. They blast the AC in the vehicles. When they come home, they blast the AC in the house. So, and they work from indoors, okay, or whatnot, or outdoors, but with protective gear, then you don't tan at all. And I noticed that. When people go out, they go out in the evening, shopping or whatnot, they go in the evening. And let me tell you something, I spoke to neighbors. Are you taking another dump? Guys, hold up, I gotta clean up some more dump, hold up. Okay guys, well, let me just finish off here. Um, people don't get tanned out here. They live under the AC, okay? They lock themselves with the AC all day long. Even if it's a nice breezy day to open up your sliding doors or some windows or whatnot. Um, they don't. It's AC, 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 AC. And you know, I'm trying to get away from the cold. So it's, 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 it's really, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. But you know what I'm saying, right? You're trying to get away from the cold weather. You already got, um, auntie years. What are you doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, so good. So, and then you come over to the cold air, okay? We're at artificial air at that. Um, I know it doesn't get cold in the homes. I mean, you could do with a little, little air here, you know, but ah, so I can't deal with, hey, what are you doing? Get out of there. What are you doing? So guys, I'm going to have to let y'all go because this one here is misbehaving. Um, when you want to stand still, she want to dig holes and, and kick the grass and all kinds of things. And now she's wrapping herself around my, around the leash. Oh, no, you're not going back over there. We do stay still. I'm trying to stay in the shade, guys. Okay. Um, my flight is soon, guys. A uh, matter of hours. On a weekend. Who the hell booked my flight and want to get rid of me at early morning on a weekend? I mean, it's not like I had an appointment or I had something to do or nothing to do, but I mean, they want to get rid of me, so I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. So, but sitting around trying to help whatever I can, but really there's nothing to do. And everything is far, guys. Everything, you need a car. I mean, where I'm at, you need a car to even get to a Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, just to get out of this area and then you're, you're around everything. Otherwise, you are so effed up. And I don't like to ask people that come at the end of a work day um, or someone that's in the home working, you know, to do this, take you here, take you there, because they always have plans. Here in Florida, guys, people, um, if you're from Florida or you know someone from Florida, leave it on your comments. Have you heard people say, what's the plan? Oh, that sounds like a plan. Oh, that's a good plan. You know, everything is like a plan. So that's like the main phrase I hear everyone saying. Does it have to be a plan for everything? I don't know, guys. It's strange. <laughs> it's really strange. Floridian people are really, um, they have their own, I don't know, even know how to describe it, guys. But it's beautiful. Florida is beautiful. And as far as the chaos of June 1st, yes, Windmere, Windmere, Florida, which I do know, Orlando, all the way from north to south, guys, yes, there were some protests, there were some companies of stores and supermarkets and uh, whatnot that closed their doors, yes, 
And last thing I heard was they're trying to find out what state to actually move Disneyland. And let me tell you one thing. Um, we passed by. There are a lot of, um, I don't know if it's theme parks uh, inside the uh, Disney World that are sh closed. Okay, they closed. Um, Water Splash is closed. Um, I don't, I don't know too much about there. I've been there twice to see the, uh, see, I went to Sea World last time I was here. I didn't want, I'm on a budget. You know, when you're on a budget, you just can't, you just can't, um, just go out and, and just throw the buck out there. Especially when you know, um, you know, okay, and I know we're from the north side of the U.S., um, or the west coast, right? Yeah, from the middle, somewhere around um, west coast, middle coast. How hard and expensive things are up there. Well, let me tell you something. There is a store in Florida called Thrifty. And a big family pack of chicken, okay? I mean, a big family pack of chicken is $3.04. We don't have Thrifty. There are, we can find some sales somewhere, but not like they do here, okay? So here, it's a plus that they have those stores that I'm telling you, I've never seen. I said, well, I was shocked, guys. I am so shocked at the prices of food. Very cheap, okay? It's like inflation never took place. Um, the gas is $3.47. Somewhere between uh, $3.24 to $3.47, depending on the days or whatnot. But it's still high, but it's still not bad, okay, compared to the fours and the fives that we've seen. Uh, that's down the line in the summertime. I mean, some, the summertime is here all year round. I don't know what they call winter, guys, because um, uh, even in the winter, um, all you need is like a hoodie. So I don't know what they call winter. Oh, winter comes with this and that. I don't know what they call it. They, you know, people that haven't been into the north, they don't even know what the hell winter is, okay? They've lived here forever and never traveled to the up, up north. Or they don't even know what the hell winter is. So it's very shocking. I spoke to a couple of people. And, and, you know, I like, next time I will be coming back, but in my van. Due to the fact that I like to ask questions and find things out. And when you're walking around with people who, you know, they keep to themselves as private as, I am. sometimes I think, well, what I, I uh, what is what is what is the deal? What what it's like you're hiding yourself from the the community and you don't know you'll get sick or then you'll have to knock on the neighbor's door. Um I like to know neighbors but I can't get I can't mingle too much with the nice neighbors around because it, it, you know, it kinds of, they tell you oh no because they'll be knocking doors and, and so it's hard guys, okay? It's like everywhere that I stayed um, they don't like to mingle with, with neighbors, beautiful neighbors, they invite you over, um, you have a nice time with them, um, if you smoke it's a problem, if you don't smoke it's another problem, um, if you drink it's a problem, if you don't drink it's another problem, um, I, I, I just don't understand certain people, and I guess people forget where the hell they grew up at, okay, they grew up in, in the hood rats, and once they start making the money and living high, um, and slapping that credit card, um, you're not right, okay? You ain't right. Something wrong with you if you can't slap down a big major credit card, okay? And just live the luxury like like nothing is happening. Another thing I noticed is that a lot of people in Florida do not prepare, guys. They just grocery shop on a weekly basis. I spoke to neighbors. I spoke in the stores. Um, supermarkets and ask questions and they said that a lot of people unless you're like a farm person or a homesteader you know um, no they don't prepare they don't think like that they say we are crazy so I did meet a homesteader she said she plants and basil peppermint squash whatnot and others prepare for what it's like people talking about doomsday. Well, you know, people, them crazy. They crazy. So I just listen, you know. I said, like, oh, you don't think we crazy down the line when shit might happen. You never know, but it's good to have a good supply of food at home. And 
that doesn't happen with many people unless you are like i said if you're not a homesteader uh or you own a property that you can um uh, plant and grow vegetables i wish i had the options okay i don't i'm almost homeless to tell you the truth yeah, when i get back to jersey i don't know what the hell to expect because um the building was sold my neighbor moved out i don't know if i i might move out too and live in my van travel around i don't know um i'll let you know when i get back to new jersey okay what the plans are oh here i go i'm talking like, like the floridians i'll figure out what to do how to take care of my situation that i will be um trying to deal with and trying to make it better in one way or another guys that's all i can say it is what it is you know but when you come back to see people and it's like well i, I don't have her like that you know i can't pull out a credit card i don't have a credit card um it's like you're not enough you ain't good enough for certain people um and a lot of people tell me no you gotta slap a credit card because that makes your credit go up if you already have good credit why the hell be slapping the credit card then I hear other people talk about, no, we get rid of our credit card bills. Now, which one the hell is it? Okay, I'd rather stay out of the credit cards and pay with cash and keep the credit card. Maybe use 20 bucks, pay the 20 bucks um, if I had a credit card, but which I did get approved for one for $400. So I'm building my credit, guys, thanks to my son and his fiance. Um, yeah, so, so I came out here to take care of that business too. But. Um, this is how people live in Florida. They only prepare when a hurricane is on top of their asses and they have no other option but to run to the store really stock up because they don't know when the hurricane is going to be over. It's going to be three days, four days, five days, ten days, uh, plus the rain that comes after two weeks. Who the hell knows? Devastation, whatever. If they have to go to a motel, they can't take really much with them, but they can survive. But no, guys, they don't prepare. Floridians do not prepare. Some do, yes. I'm not going to say everybody, but most do not. They do not. They wait for a shit to be on top of their head. And then when you get to the grocery store, it's all gone. So they've been giving warnings because of that A91L uh, tropical storm. And another one that was forming up somewhere on the west coast, somewhere by close to Louisiana, moving southward. And another one that's hitting, gonna hit the golf course with rain. It's hit with rain here too. And it's like patches of towns that rains, okay? Uh, that's about what's happening right now. Get out of there. Guys, excuse me, but I'm walking the dog. So that's what's going on as far as I know. I couldn't venture like I wanted to. Um, so I really don't have much. I do have some. I'll upload the videos when I get home. And when I, when I got a peace of mind, guys, because right now my mind is all... Oh, fucked up, okay? Um, just waiting for my flight in the morning. So, uh, I will I will load up the videos of the alligator. <laughs> we pissed off. Oh, yeah. Um, and a couple of things, okay, that I did on the line. I saw the little mermaid. Oh, my God. I want to see it again. Okay, I want to go see it again. So... That was a beautiful movie, even though there's a lot of contradictions with the movie, but I just enjoy the movie, okay? I ain't got time for all the bickering and the, and the bullshit and all of that stuff. Just watch the movie, enjoy the movie, and, you know, it's always criticism. It's always criticism. I notice, and that's another thing that I, I notice. It doesn't matter what the hell, okay, is done, or, you, or people do. It's always got to criticize some shit. I'll say it like that because that's just me. I'm not going to change. And y'all know me already, right? It's always a freaking criticism of some shit. No matter how good it is. I enjoyed it. Um, but people that were coming out of the theater, um, I never seen The Little Mermaid in the cartoon or I don't know, guys. But it doesn't matter. To me, saying, even the person who sang the song, I forgot what the heck her name is, um, she was so happy. That the Little Mermaid sang that song with so much of, you know, you could just tell that she meant like every single tone in that song, under the world, under the world, under the sea, something like that. <laughs> um, how much emphasis she put into that song. So I loved it. I I watched the movie. I enjoyed it. 
Um, what else? What else can I say, guys? Okay, people are never satisfied. People are never satisfied. But one thing I do, and I'm glad that I met the community. I'm sorry, guys, because I'm walking and talking. I like to track of this one. <clears throat> Is that I know preparedness. Um, I learned from y'all. Um, I wish I could teach it to others, but I, at this point, I'm called a conspiracy theorist. I'm crazy. I'm out of my mind, and I'm in Florida, okay? Um, so, you only prepare here when the shit, it says TF is on top of your head, which is bad weather and hurricanes. Okay, that's when people are go crazy thinking about, oh, what are we going to do? Oh, where are we going to go? Oh, we got to leave the house. We got to go find a motel. Find and then everything is packed full. Or people are driving to Georgia, far the hell away from Florida. That's what they do, guys. I thought people stayed home. Well, a lot of do. They don't want to abandon their homes. And they find themselves in the fucked up predicaments where they got to be boated out, okay, on a boat. They know they refuse to leave. What? Um, I don't think this area would have an issue because um, I am came through here and they didn't do a damn thing. So whatever comes behind, I don't think they would have to go. But normally family reunite with others as well. So guys, I'll let you go and I'll catch you soon on our next video. Take care, y'all. Yeah.